course. At least the timer kept going, so... No. Yeah, uh, it, it did not for me, but... It's still going on my end. Uh. No, it's not. No, it is. There's hope. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much a constant, man. Just honestly, you're fortunate that we're able to stream at all. <laughs> I mean, why do you think, you know, at least my streams always end up in like maybe 720p if we're lucky? There's a reason. Because I can't stream in high def. I think 720p is the highest I can even get. Some, it says 1080, I know it's not though. Mine sure as hell is not. By the way, I just want, speaking of, like, high def, I don't know, it made me think of it. Um, Xbox Series X's Game Pass is legit, y'all. It is. <laughs> it's, it's special. It's, uh, and I mean that genuinely. Genuinely. Ah, shit. Okay, drop, hey, drop Rick, this know, line. No, no, the stream, the, the stream drops. Don't, don't worry about, uh get the stream getting all weird it's it's just what happens yep that's what happens oh I got a little umbrella I don't know what that does now protects you from cum I mean rain I mean I guess technically both right yeah, it's raining that hallelujah And babies. Goddamn right, I'm gonna talk up Game Pass. <laughs> like I didn't, I I was not a believer. I was skeptical on what Game Cap Game Pass could be. I'm a believer, everybody. Once I get done with this game I'm playing, the answer uh, to that question oh, is yes. yes, Lyle. Yes, yes, Lyle. Uh, I I am playing a game. And I know Riku is very invested in me completing this game. As our, uh, as is Backlog Adam. He's very invested with me completing this game. But once I'm done with that, I, I, I'm probably just gonna go to my Series X and play Game Pass. I, there's no other way for me to... Doom Eternal is on there. Dragon Quest XI XS is on there. The Messenger is on there, uh... The, the the new cyber ninja gaiden game that just came out i don't know what it's called but a lot of people were raving about it uh, uh cyberpunk 2077 that's that's what you were talking no, about no no yeah no I, I wouldn't download that even if it was on there but um <laughs> cyber shadow cyber shadow that's on there as no the cyber pass. shack do that's definitely it yeah. shack do i want a cyber shack game i'm a believer praise jesus uh, it's it's uh it game pass is something else y'all it's didn't expect didn't expect the amount of, of quality <laughs> there. Not. that's right welcome to the jam and the slam mm. hmm well you know all in all this isn't terrible it's um basic pretty fucking basic yeah but it's it's all right it's all right you, like i can imagine someone in japan buying this for 30 dollars and in current year you could probably get this for 99 cents on the app store oh yeah it's, good. it's a good thing i'm not listening to the music then Riku. oh yeah it's super fucking repetitive it's just it's the same track for every stage isn't that the same thing for mario though I mean, technically, no. How about Zelda? Zelda plays the same song when you're in the overall game. Right? You mean the original Zelda? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that game is bad. It is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm just about done with Twilight Princess HD, and uh, man, has it been a thoroughly enjoyable experience, let me tell you. Especially compared to just finishing Skyward Sword, which was a fucking nightmare. Okay, you're not being sarcastic, then. that's fun to ask. No, 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 I, I actually really like it. It's, it's, I'm, like, unironically, having played the HD version without any motion control or anything, Twilight Princess might actually be one of my favorite Zelda games now. I'm thinking about playing it on the GameCube. Yeah. I have it for the Wii U, but I, what I'm finding is when I want to play it on a system that's hooked up to my living room TV, I don't get as much game time, because mm -hmm. that's the, the TV that I can use. So I'm probably going to play Twilight Princess when I play it on my GameCube. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I agree. Well, again, I think a lot of it, at least for me, I'm not going to say for everybody, but the thing that kind of kept me from finishing it the first time around was just getting burnt out on the motion control. It's really what it was. I, I, it was just fatigue. I was just like, I don't want to keep doing this. And um, not having to do that, it's, it's actually... It's actually a really solid Zelda title. Like I, I've I've been having a lot of fun with it. I stopped playing it because of a lot of the quick time events. I don't know if they're they're in the HD version. Well, I, I like don't know how far I made it. what? Just like you know when you're like hopping platform to platform, it's like press this button and they go from they they jump from platform to platform to platform to platform. I just got to the point like this is this is a little too formulaic for me. Oh, I, I, I think. <laughs> I, I I tend to forget that Zelda. I mean, this is also like when the Wii came out. So this is about 15 years ago. 14 right. years ago. That Zelda itself is a formulaic franchise. Get the weapon, destroy the enemy, go to the next dungeon. Get the new weapon, go to the next dungeon, destroy the bad guy. Right. That's, that's Zelda. Um, some people love it, and some people just don't. And I think I'm more in the latter of that. And Shane knows that because I've talked to him about Ocarina of Time plenty of times. Uh, and he thinks I hate it. I don't hate it. I'm just not as in love with it as a lot of people. A lot of people are. Hmm. I'm going to start calling it, just piss people off, I'm going to start calling it Okra Arena of Time. because <laughs> The Okra Arena. Okra Arena. Okra Ina. Okra Ina. There it is. Okra Ina. That's how it because everyone gets mad no matter how you pronounce it. It's either Ocarina or o Ocarina. So it's just going to be Ocarina. Because everyone gets mad no matter how you say it. I own an Ocarina. Ocarina. I own one. I love it. Isn't it little? It's in my nice little uh, Club Nintendo Zelda case. Ooh. And it's a Zelda. It's not an official Zelda Ocarina, but I do have one. Yes, yeah, the Ocarina Arena of time. So, you learn how to play my arena. Say that that's that's what our uh, that's what our arena is called down here. It's where we hold all our 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 big sporting events. That's it's at the Okra yeah. Arena. Uh, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if there was a place in Florida that was actually called the Okra Arena. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I have completely neglected this entire side over here, and that's gonna totally fuck me. Probably. Isn't it supposed to slide over? I thought that's what the, that was a thing. Uh, I, it just did. It, it's, apparently these umbrellas, like, hold them in place or some shit? I don't know. That's nasty. I actually went to a place in Tennessee. I went to Gatlinburg and uh, a restaurant called Old Red, which is apparently owned by a country singer. I don't know. Maybe it's Keith Urban. I don't know. And, did you say uh, Old Bread? Old Red. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it sounds great. Had, Old bread. They had grilled okra, and Ugh. that shit was fire. Really? It's like charred, charred grilled okra. Yeah, it was mm. fucking good. Yeah, old. So yeah, exactly. Good. Old bread is just stuffing. Yeah. Yes. And it's old bread. It's the restaurant for birds. But all, that that restaurant was also the first time I ever had poutine, and uh, 
I need to find a place that will serve me poutine. I don't think I can find it in the South. I need I need some more poutine in I my mean, life. I mean, did they make it correctly? Like, did they use actual legit cheese curd, or did they just throw fucking chunks of cheese on it? Look, I don't know, because uh -huh. that was the first time I ever had poutine, Shane. I just okay. said that. If I, if I actually knew the culinary arts of poutine, I could tell you, but I don't know. Uh-huh. Okay. It's fine. I was told by a Canadian on one of our Gaiden episodes that uh, poutine is the food of his people. Mm-hmm. So true. I do need to... Uh, I thought... I didn't know that, that uh, poutine was a Canadian food. I thought it was just a northern... Food. Oh no, no that's, like that is Canadian food. as fuck. Like, you go to Montreal or, or especially Montreal, but anywhere up there, and there's just poutine shops, like restaurants that do nothing but like fucking gourmet types of poutine. That sounds amazing. Yeah, Lyle, it's fucking okay, yeah. amazing. Lyle, that's that's what I had. I had a uh, uh, tots poutine. It was, <laughs> Canadian uh, is Deadpool. Poutine. Yeah, dude, tots poutine. That that shit is. Mm. Yeah, it was so fucking. It was fire. It was fucking fire. I okay, need, what I is need, this I, soda I can need to find. Let me Google and see if poutine near me. I want to see. If there's <laughs> a I want some fucking poutine. I want to see like the Google trend like analytics on that exact search phrase and see like comparatively how often that happens in Canada versus like anywhere else. There you go. You gotta you gotta live in the modern day 2021 of living inside your home and never leaving. You gotta you gotta door dash the poutine. It says the closest poutine to us is in downtown tracks. That's not bad. There might be a place in New York. There might be a place in Orange Park. <laughs> I say I'm I'm sure there's a place in New York, yes. No, I mean, where is this place? It's called NYC Meatballs. Damn you, Blue Block! I was almost done. It's on Oak Leaf Plantation. What sounds like a porno? DoorDash the poutine. <laughs> it's just Canadian porn. The 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 poutine DoorDash delivery guy shows up. He's like, I've got your hot cheese. You know what, tomorrow, tomorrow on my way home, I'll, uh, Bam, there it is. Going in tomorrow. I think I'll check out the, the NYC Meatballs poutine. Unless you know what I think about it. And you can be extremely disappointed after I tell you it's good. I mean, disappointed in that I did not get any? Yes. I mean, you won't, if it's, if it's shit, you're not going to be disappointed. Because I'll be like, yeah, man, it's good. And then you'll have it and be like... Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? This, this stuff is shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know poutine. I'll I mean, any, like, listen. Casserole cheese thing. I say to be fair, like I'm not above making, you know, some fucking welfare poutine. Like it's happened. Like you just buy some frozen fucking crinkle fries. Cut up some cheese you got. Get some a couple jars of beef gravy. Make yourself some poutine. There you go. Now, is that like legit? Not really, but it's serviceable. Have I gotten a heart power up? No, I haven't. Damn it. I'll make sure I'll send it to Goops. I'll send it to Goops. And there you go. Like this is some southern fucking New York poutine. <laughs> Southern New York poutine. That's right. Southern New York City poutine. There are two things wrong with that. And then what are the... I mean... Yeah, yes! Motherfucker, that's what I'm... Why the fuck do you think I called it welfare poutine, man? You're not gonna get fucking curds. That's some gourmet shit. And yeah, how about gravy bread? Everyone needs some gravy bread. All I'm saying is that y'all ain't eating legit like cheese curd and shit like that on food stamps. 
Okay. Or whatever we call it now. EBT? Yeah, that. The funny thing is, like, I get poutine in Tennessee. How the fuck do you get poutine in Tennessee? That's the first place I ever had poutine. Tennessee. How did I never hear about... A rare I delicacy in, in Tennessee. I never heard about poutine growing outside, like, growing up outside Chicago. Like, it's a northern food. <laughs> yeah, they, that's, yeah that, that's what it is. Uh, people pay for their groceries with Electric ball torture. I mean, I know why to. <laughs> Certainly feels that way, am I right? What the fuck do these it's soda like saying, cans do? It's like saying the first time I've heard clam chowder was in Kansas City. Ah, uh, yes, because I know that I want to get clam from someplace nowhere near the place that you'd get clams. Minimum wage is just corporate welfare. I would agree with that. That's true. That's definitely true. Well, this setup sucks. I think I'm gonna fail this one. Ran out of time. But, damn. but to be fair. Oh look, she's uh, so mad. Now she now she's sad. Maybe that's Pluto. Might be Pluto. It's getting better in crabs and KC. I mean, if you're getting crabs in KC, at least you're getting light. There's that. <laughs> now to be fair I've heard Denmark is fantastic and Denmark has no minimum wage I'm not saying we shouldn't increase our minimum wage I'm just saying the country everyone points to as a, as a utopia does not have a minimum wage just food for thought I mean that might also just be because employers there just actually pay people a living wage and don't need to be fucking coerced into doing it. They have strong unions. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, they're kind of coerced into it, into it it's just in a different way. <laughs> they're, they're still coerced by their unions, but, yeah. Because they treat the people like... Dude, people. fuck this umbrella. They don't have a minimum wage. They're also very tribal. They consider themselves a tribe. They consider the uh, uh, Danes as a tribe of people. They're they're a weird culture, man. They are a weird culture. I mean, I love to be I love to be in Denmark. I love to live in Denmark. It sounds like it's it's great there, but uh, it's definitely a different culture. Pretty sure it's also fairly expensive to live there too. Yeah, but they do provide you a lot of things to, to make sure you get on your feet. So there's that. Like if, if you're if you're a fuck up in life, it's because it sounds like you're essentially trying to be a fuck up in life. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know the whole picture. Some of Shane's choice here are killing me. <laughs> that would imply that, like, I'm employing any strategy. You realize all I'm doing is just kind of <laughs> randomly picking things, right? Which I'm sure it's... does not help m m the case at all, but... <laughs> there, see? I won the stage, okay? Happy now? We made it, anyway. <laughs> I 
I think I've determined that the soda cans are there just to block you. Just like the umbrellas. I think that's all they do. It's the... it's the block block. Shane, uh, Lyle says he's been saying that you've been making bad choices for a decade and you haven't listened to him yet. That's probably fair. He said you got a can of fuck you. Uh, Riku congratulates you. Yeah, well, thank you. You know, we, we made it. One way or the other. They like sweets, Riku. That's that's the connection between the two. They like sweets. They like the sweets. Yeah, I mean, like, that was all the... Mostly the power-ups in the game, in the fighting game, right? You got, like, cake and ice cream and... I mean, I guess there was sushi, but... That was also the thing in, like, Trials of Mana. Like, everything you had was just, like, chocolate bars and candies. Yeah, it's awesome. Lyle said he thought it was the Coke. The Coke was, uh... About the soda cans. I thought you're are you talking about cocaine. The the cocaína. Cocaína. I got three years left. Sick. They actually, I've gotten like tested for for urinalysis quite frequently in the past month or two. I think they think I'm doing the. I was gonna say, why, why, why in the past month or two? I don't know. Yes, it's a play on words, Chris. You don't have to yell, Lyle. Loud noises. God. Just choose soda can. That'd be a great thing to get rid of. <laughs> like for real though, fuck these soda cans. Like I don't, I don't know what to do with that shit. Soda cans even Not nothing apparently. Okay, yeah, no, these soda cans are just here to fuck with me. Like, I I finished the stage, and they're just hanging out. I'm gonna lose oh, this mean, because of the fucking soda cans. Every man's weakness is a good set of cans. True. Dude, like, what the fuck? Like, look, it's cleared. I cleared the stage. Fuck you, soda can. How do I get rid of you? God damn it. What the fuck? Ah. Better Pluto is mad at you. Now she's just sad. Well, at any rate, I feel like maybe that's a good place to wrap things up for tonight. We're about a okay. hour, hour and a half in or so, so we uh, successfully finished the Sailor Moon beat him up and. I, f I feel like I got what I needed to out of this, so <laughs> I think we're good here. Um, but yeah, so so that's some Sailor Moon action for you. Stuff that we did not get here uh, stateside or really anywhere outside of Japan. Um, although there was one, I don't think it was this one. There was one I was reading that got localized in Europe, but just for France. Random fact. I have no idea why. Um, France they, is actually a good hotbed of anime. Is it now? Was definitely in the nineties. Yes, definitely was. So was Italy. Huh. Well, there you go. Maybe that's yeah. why. But other yeah. than that, yeah, we didn't really see any of this stuff. So there you go. A little bit of exclusive action. And as I said at the beginning of the stream, the reason we were playing this tonight is because we did have a new episode come out today. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please do so. Um, you can go to bit.ly slash go RHP. The link should be on your screen if you're watching this. 
and you can check out the show. We talk about the Sailor Moon RPG for the Super Famicom. Um, had a couple of wonderful guests on. Um, oh, one of which just commented on our Instagram post. So there you go. So the the illustrious Meredith Copeland, as well hey. as the uh, the fan of the show or or f- a friend of the show rather. I mean, probably also a fan. I hope. But friend of the show, uh, Seamus P. Burke, also known as the Gray Man and his games on YouTube. That's where you can find him. Look up Gray Man Games. And um, and yeah, so thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's always a good time having you here. If you're watching this on YouTube, then thank you for checking out there as well. Um, maybe because Twitch has decided to stop exporting our videos to YouTube lately, and we don't know why. So maybe you're not. Maybe you're not watching this at all. Maybe I'm talking to nobody. But in any event, uh, Chris, anything you want to throw in before we close down? Yeah, just a couple things. So if you want to join us in the Discord, as we said earlier in the stream, we got a good group of people in there that I think are all gelling together uh, really well. Actually, I didn't say that earlier in the stream. I was saying that on a while I was watching wrestling with the uh, Secret Levels people because there's Uh a lot of overlap there. There But yeah, we got a really good community. We... uh, you can come in there you can hang out and you know just just hang out with us i make no promises about the eggs riku yeah we love eggs yeah we do love eggs riku does not love eggs so come in there and talk to riku about how you like eggs or join riku and explain how you don't like eggs but you can only do that by going to bit.ly slash rhp chat and then you you can join us in the discord and you know we can have a good conversation about whatever and yeah it's really good community come and join us and we'll have a good time other than that if you like coffee if you like coffee we are an affiliate of bones coffee and i just got some good flavors i got the maple bacon and it's fucking fantastic y'all like if you like if you like some good maple bacon coffee go to bones coffee and you can find that link at bit.ly which is b-i-t dot l-y slash r-h-p bones And, by the way, if you like Gorp the Dick Dragon, I'm sorry, Gorp the Eggplant Dragon, Shane is the Dick Dragon. That's true. Gorp the Eggplant Dragon, Mm -hmm. and you want to have that on, like, a fashionable coffee mug that everyone seems to love, you can get your own Gorp coffee mug at bit.ly bit.ly slash rhp merch. And this mug is fantastic. If I was on the camera right now, I'd be showing you this mug. It's a beautiful mug. It's not my face. But the coffee mug mm. is is gorgeous. It's right. Just good. There you it's go. A good mug. I love it. But that's really all I got for now. Shane, back to you. All right. Well, yeah, I think that about covers it. I do want to point out, just because it was kind of an impromptu pet project of mine that turned out fairly successfully, that if you do jump into the uh, the Discord, you can check out our brand spanking new 24 seven music channels that we've got in there. Oh, yeah. um, right now we've got one dedicated channel to like chip tune slash like nerdcore music. That's 24 seven all the time. And then we've got another one um, that is vaporwave synth wave type, you know, eighties kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, so yeah, people seem to have been responding pretty positively to that I like to jump in those every once in a while and just, uh, listen to some 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 good background music since we're all stuck at home and so yeah just another neat thing so we we plan on adding you know more stuff to the discord trying to do some more engagement and and that kind of a thing uh as time goes on so so don't miss out is what i'm saying by the way i i did forget one thing if you want to support the show yes If you want to support the show, Mm -hmm. this show is funded by listeners of the podcast, and we greatly appreciate all of them. Lyle was in here tonight, and uh, thank you very much, Lyle. Lyle is one of our patrons. So is Orden. Orden is also one of our highest tier patrons, and we appreciate their generosity very much. But if you want to join just in in the company of them, you can go to www.gorpfans.com. That's G-O-R-P fans.com. And... You know, only GOP fans are real fans. That's true. That's true, yeah. I mean, everyone's a fan. I'm not going to demand everyone pay us money. Just enjoy our show. (laughs) No, No, (laughs) it's implied that if you're a fan of the show, you are also a fan of GORP. That's that's what we're saying. Yes. The official mascot uh, dragon. 
that is our Patreon page. We have special things on our on our tiers. We have a RH uh, RH Gaiden with Seamus. Yes, that uh, is our most recent RH Gaiden, uh, who is also on our show this week. So if you want to go check that out, uh, just one dollar <laughs> a month, you get access to all. Don't you the fucking ooh woo my gorp? Yes. Uh, what are $1, you doing, $1, Step Gorp? One dollar a month, Step Gorp, <laughs> will give you uh, the RH guidance, and there's different tiers for everything. So go check yeah. us out if you want to support the show, and we deeply appreciate everyone who does. So thank you very much. That's all I got. Cool. Again, that's all I got. All right. Well, before it gets any more hentai in here, we're going to go ahead and shut this thing down. So uh, until next time. Play with your ooh woo chibi usa riding joysticks that is illegal yes. good night everybody good